Hi, Bo home. Not too much. Remember, we don't want it to drip, especially on our floor, which we just did. Okay, so update. He's taken over completely for the painting. And I just get to stand here. Oh my gosh, what did we do? Put the camera down. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to Hubble Home. I'm Taylor Hubble, a full-time furniture maker and husband to... And a kick-ass dad, don't forget that. that. Part-time. Part-time. I am Heather Hubble. You probably know me as Heather Morris. I'm an actor, dancer, all that yada yada fun stuff. But here in this home, I am Heather Hubble. Mrs. Hubble. Mrs. Hubble. What are we That's doing? That's your mother. That's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting a YouTube channel. That's right, Hubble Home. We're gonna start tackling some projects uh, in a very DIY format. We're gonna keep it light and fun. And you'll see our kids, yeah. you'll see our dog. Uh-huh, cat. Yeah, and our cat, maybe. Fish. Don't get me started on the fish. We bought this house about a year ago now, and they did a great job taking it from the 1960s when it was built. There was shag carpet. We don't have that anymore either. No, we don't have shag carpet, but. But this house is not yet ours. So we're gonna make it uniquely Hubble home. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna start on this wall behind us. So we spend a ton of our family time together in here. Yeah. Staring at this, this wall. wall. The full wall runs here through the living room-ish, whatever, all the way through into the dining room, and then this archway that you can't see is off camera. But we're gonna do this entire feature wall with some cool diagonal board and batten. If you're new to DIY and not quite sure what board and batten means, here's an image just for reference. Lines. Painted to break painted up all of colors. like the very light gray that runs throughout the entire area. Hide the cords, get some of this stuff underneath the TV put away. So I'm going to make a very minimal uh, wall hanging cabinet. Thank you, Vanna. Um, for mounting underneath here. Once we get that done, we'll be able to board and batten around it. He's going to go in the shop. You're going to start putting up some stay. colors so we can figure out what we like. We're going to stick with one color, but we want it to be a color that we can live with all day long, every single second of the day that's not too bright, that's not gonna make us go. Oh my gosh, what did we do? I will check in with you. Or will I check in with you first? <sighs> Bye. Luck. Okay, colors. We're talking green. Green colors. Bye. Bye. Okay. 0 for 4 on the green greens. What do you mean you're giving it away already? So, do we like them? No. <laughs> no, we hate them, as you can tell. We got them online, which wasn't a good choice. I failed. So we headed to the store and we picked them out ourselves. We got a reference point, the colors that we liked, something a little lighter, not so dark. We hit the pause button. We figured out what we wanted to do and found something better, right? I think so. I, I think we'll find out in a second. So we landed on a color that we like. Yeah. It's called Windmill. Yeah, so let's get started. So we're gonna dip our brushes in. We already put a little color, not too much. Remember, we don't want it to drip, especially on our floor, which we just did. And now, paint. You have your name, okay? And of course they got bored, so we went outside and played on the trampoline. I also want to mention, I got this idea from my friend Jess Hartman. She's a DIY guru and just totally inspired me to do this. All right, I'm clueless. What is this? This is a quick sketch and I'll do this for pretty much all my projects. It gives me an idea of kind of where the project is going, sense of direction, and I think it's kind of nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, so speaking of this project, there was just no space for it in this video. So I created a separate YouTube video on my channel, Hubble Woodshop, and that entire build of the cabinet is gonna be available over there. We'll link it here. Ooh, I can't wait to see the finished product from this sketch you've given us. Just to share, it is freezing outside and they want it to. <laughs> All right, so you are now in the wood shop of mine, me, and this lady. Should I be in here? Yeah. Go close the door and then come back in. Okay. She's gonna come out in just a second and join me. We are gonna finish painting this guy right here, and she's decided to come out. Is that my cue? That's it. She's yes. here to help me put on the final coat of paint before we can glue this whole thing together. Come on. I just so we can hear our children while they're inside. Okay. That's smart. What can I help okay. you do? 
We are foam rolling all of this. We're foam rolling it. Foam rolling it. She's gonna roll. These guys have all gotten two coats of primer, been sanded back, smoothed over, and now Mrs. Hubble is going to foam roll the last coat on the top and bottom. Just so you know, I never come out here to help, so this is actually really exciting for me. How is this going so far? It looks great. Talk to us about your form. <laughs> well, I do this sort of nice lunge uh -huh. when I push it forward, uh -huh. where my right arm extends and my hips scooch back like this. Mm -hmm. It really gives it a nice stroke. It looks good. I don't even know if my hand looks good. Here, but... It looks really uncomfortable. Yeah. So another secret revealed is, I don't know if you can tell this in the video, but you can see it in person, is when you come and continue to tackle little spots at a time and try and touch up paint, you're going to leave yourself a very uneven finish. Okay. So what you would do is when you get towards the end, you want to get a sufficient amount, and then when you come to finish, pardon me, you're going to come and do like the full stroke. So you're going to always want like a good even spread to get rid of all those little strokes. Okay, so update. He's taken over completely for the painting. And I just get to stand here. So for those of us who don't know what you're doing, explain to us what this is. Well, this, my dear, is called a French cut. Uh, cut these pieces. There's contrasting pieces attached inside the cabinet, and they have a 45 degree angle on it, making kind of a hook. And the hook on the wall is sticking away from the cabinet. So the one inside the cabinet meets up with that and it kind of locks together and makes a super strong kind of hanging mechanism. It's install day. I don't even need to ask it. You just go ahead and explain what's happening here. Okay, look, we need our strips in order to board the board and batten. And so I'm cutting a bunch of three inch strips out of a big sheet of MDF. Now, you could save a bunch of time by buying the pre-primed already cut strips from your big box store. I went for the less expensive route. How many of those did you actually make? Oh, I have a lot left over. I overcut. But uh, I probably cut, probably cut 15 to 20 of those, and then I cut like seven that were shorter, like six foot strips. It looks like you made 100. Are we excited? Are we nervous? Both uh, equally. Nope, more excited. <laughs> I'm 100 excited. You're 100 excited? 100. The divider lady. Dad. Okay. This is where I put the camera down. Put the camera down! Okay, now that I'm done being annoying, let's just kindly explain in words that I can understand what's happening here. So you made this like 14 inch strip of wood that was kind of our divider and it just gave us a, a marking point between the board and batten. I basically started in that top left area, made that cut, used those spacers, and then just worked from there. Lob some glue? Like three or four dabs depending on the size of the piece and that is a long-term hold and then I would just come back and pew pew. Pew pew! All right so I'm getting ready to install this piece which is going to be the cord maintenance. This is going to magnet in right here and you can see obviously there's a void on the back side and a little recess cut at the bottom uh, to help. So there's going to be a hole and a kind of like one of those uh, desk cord things that's gonna go right here. It's just countersink here with the uh, little countersink bit and then just hand screw in a couple of real small uh, screws and that's gonna give the magnets that I've laid into the backside here something to hold on to. All right, there we go. If uh, all went right, then this should just come right into position here and snap and hold. So, Holds there, nothing wrong with that. And then if you ever want to uh, unplug something or get something new, you just magnet that off, get back on there. How long did this take us? This took us so long. No, I was gonna say, <laughs> we did this in a matter of like three and a half, maybe four hours. Wow. 
Where was I? I obviously wasn't here with you. Okay. Second to last piece to go in. Really. Okay, dramatic reasons. Last piece to go in. Forget about the little corner one we still have to do. Hang on. Here we go. It's going right up. We had to come back and fill all the nail holes with some wood filler. So now I'm gonna give everything a quick sanding so that we can prep it for taping off what we need, start to prime, and get ready to paint. Okay. Okay, so we're here in the same spot that we were in the beginning because we made it that way. Yeah, we, we just put set the camera over there. Same exact position. Was that? But that was filmed over a month Don't ago. Don't tell them how long and we ago wore that the same that exact was literally, outfit. No, it was like six minutes ago. Six minutes ago. We don't ago. know how long the video's going to be. Yeah, we've done this one day. Briefly, we, we did this all within a matter of like... It looks completely different. So, well... Well, it looks really, really yeah. different. Minus one detail, which is the actual color it's we chose. <laughs> trending in a direction of different. So we put up the board and batten, and we have this beautiful feature. Peace! Courtesy of Taylor Hubble. I basically did nothing. This Except is going for paint. Really well. All the white. And yeah. Taylor is the genius. Alright, so let's get to painting. We're gonna paint. We're gonna get the kids. Let them throw some paint on it early. That's another tip for you. If you're gonna have somebody that hasn't had a lot of practice in painting, have them paint early so that if it doesn't go well, you can top of it. Don't bring them in and say, here, here's the last little touch like we did earlier with this guy. So if you have an amateur, have them practice early rather than, no, 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 not that, but that, yeah. <laughs> have them come in early. Yeah. And have them throw some paint up and, uh, and then you can always come back in. Fix it. All right, let's go paint, Mr. Beauty. Let's do it. I guess it's ridiculous to have to say that what I have to say is that my mother always taught me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And that's how I feel about painting. So amongst us installing this beautiful wall, I have Eli behind me doing his Zoom school. And Owen, we put in the other room, we set him down, we turn on the show. Just quarantine chaos. So I'm a little overwhelmed and I had some cold brew and now we are moving on. You know, it's funny that you said that about painting, that you don't like it because I actually like it and I would paint all day long if I could. Uh, from the looks of it, you are. I am what? Oh, I'm painting. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does it hurt? The love? Yeah. Reveal day. We have some blue painter's tape to pull. And then we're gonna be able to show the kids the final result. We are going to show you the final result. And then we are going to be able to sit and bask in the accomplishment of our... thing. In the thing. Oh, I broke. These are the spots that are really challenging. Trying to get the tape, I don't know if it's focused, out of here. And then picking back up and then pulling it and then it stops every time. That's challenging. And we have a whole lot more. It's been 84 years. Hey guys, you want to see our new wall that we finished? You don't remember what? Do you want to go see it all the way done? Yes. Okay, close your eyes. Close them. Here, Owen, I'll help you up. 
<laughs> you gotta stand up. Come close, no peeking. You got my hand. Okay, sit back. All right, keep your eyes closed. Are you ready? One, two, three, open them. Whoa. Cool. This is so cool. I mean, our kids are cute, but look at that wall. Yeah, look, I mean, we set out to accomplish this thing. And we did it. We did. It did a ton for our space. We the lines it. are beautiful. The color is great. It makes the room feel so much bigger. We did it, babe. I, Do you love it? Yeah. For, I think I was taking a really long nap. <laughs> when we painted it? Yeah, I think it was all a dream. It was all just a dream? No. Yeah. no We're going to wake up tomorrow and it's going to be white again? Watching um, all the Hubble's family. We have lots more videos just like this.